Hey everybody, Mike DiDonato here from Faima Canada and today we're going to be reviewing the Rocket Mozafiato and Giotto machines. When looking at these two machines, we first need to differentiate between the two specific models, Mozafiato and Giotto. They are essentially the same machine with a few differences. The first being the cup rail. On the Mozafiato, this cup rail is fixed and cannot be moved. Whereas on the Giotto, it is removable. You can simply pull it up or down very easily. In addition to that, the design of the machines are slightly different. What you'll notice on the Giotto is it's more of a diamond shaped machine with more depth in the side panels. Whereas the Mozafiato is a very straight line, very hard edge machine. Now that we've discussed the difference between those two models, Let's talk about the difference between them in regards to the Chrono Metro Type Vs and the Evolutione Type Rs. The primary difference there is both machines come in both models. Now, in the Type V machine, you get a vibratory pump, you get your PID controller and shot timer. In the Type R, you get a rotary pump, which gives you the ability to actually plumb in the machine or use the reservoir that comes with it. And in addition to that, you also get the PID controller and the shot timer. Other than that, the machines are essentially the same. So if a rotary pump or plumbing the machine in or having that option is important to you, then the Evolutione is the right machine for you. In the event that you'd rather just use a reservoir, you don't care for a rotary pump, then the Type V is the right machine for you. Now that we've discussed these machines in detail, let's look at some of the accessories I'm gonna be using to prepare coffee today. I have my rocket tamping station, I have my rocket tamper, my black Fausto grinder, my rocket knockbox, my beautiful rocket espresso cups, cappuccino cups, flat white cups, and my rocket branded frothing pitchers. They come in black, white, and stainless steel. When looking at these machines, one of the biggest things that really puts rocket on the map is the fact that they're using the E61 group head. That group head designed by Fama in 1961, in my opinion, brews the best espresso. It always stays hot, and it always gives you a really nice, robust cup of coffee. When looking at that group head, you'll notice you have your valve on the bottom, that's your discharge, and your standard group head that both porta filters fit into. Now these machines come with both a single and double porta filter, so depending on how many cups you're making at a time, you can easily swap those out. Looking at the machines and how they work, it's very simple. I have my shot timer here, which is a very nice little feature because as I'm pulling my shot, I can actually see how long it's taking. So as soon as I lift that lever, it's going to count how many seconds the pump has been engaged for, and as soon as I stop, it's going to stop the tech counter. The reason these shot timers are important is it really helps you dial in your coffee. Uh, for the INEI, you really want to be between 25 and 30 seconds, but that may vary based on your preferences and how you like to drink your coffee. Other than that, we have our PID controller. I really like this feature. The PID controller is located below the machine, past the tray, right here. Now that gives you the ability to actually dial in the brewing temperature of your machine. So different blends of coffee like different levels of temperature. More Arabica requires more heat, a little bit of a blend with some Robusta, you want to bring it down a little bit so you don't get too much bitterness in your coffee. Having the ability and flexibility to change this is really a game changer for people who want to dial in different types of blends and different espressos that they really like. Now another thing about these machines that I really like is they have a single boiler and a heat exchange. What that enables you to do is actually froth and make your espresso at the same time. Now, simple single boiler machines or single thermal block machines don't enable you to do that because you can either do one or the other. On these machines, whether you have a type V or type R, you're gonna be able to froth milk and brew your espresso simultaneously. Let's try a coffee. Now, some pro tips before doing this. It's important to let your machine heat up. You're gonna get to that one bar region. That's how you know you're ready to go. In addition to that, some people like to brew a few shots just to make sure that the porta filter is hot. Always make sure the porta filter is in the machine. Make sure it's nice and clean and ready to go. Before you brew some shots, if you really want to get it to a greater temperature, you can run some hot water simply to, by just pulling your lever here. Again, that creates more heat. The more heat you have, the better it's going to be overall. If your porta filter is cold, it's going to impact the quality of your espresso. So I always like to run a bit of water first. Now let's make our coffee. When the cups are sitting on top, you're actually gonna get some heat in there. 
So preheating the cups will always give you a more robust tasting espresso. If your coffee's hot and your cups are cold, the cups are gonna suck the heat right from the coffee. Now that I'm watching my shots come out, I can monitor the time on my shot timer here. When I'm ready to pull it, that looks long enough for my preference. I can stop and I have two really beautiful espressos, really nice crema. Really good, very tasty, the right temperature. It's not burned. This took a little bit of time to dial in, but that's the beauty of these machines. If you're someone who really likes to play with them, tinker, and kind of dial everything in, this is the right route for you. Let's try a latte. We have a nice, beautiful little heart there. Try that. Excellent. Now, like anything else, it does require a little bit of practice. So these machines are a labor of love. It's something you really got to commit to, and that's half of the fun of it. I do love both these models, and in regards to styling between Giotto and Mosa Fialto, it really depends on what you like. I really like the Giotto. I like that kind of beveled diamond style case. I think it's beautiful, it adds more depth, but it really, it's up to you. Now between type V and type R, that's a personal thing. I personally would plumb in my machine, so the Evolutione type R model is something that I would lean towards, but it depends on what works for you in your kitchen. That might be a bit extra, a lot of people won't really do that, so the type V would also suffice. Overall, I love these machines. I can't really recommend them enough. The espresso quality is phenomenal. I love the PID where I can kind of dial in the temperature. I also love the shot timer. It's a nice little feature where I can see how long, how quick my shots are rolling. So it really depends on what I do. And the beauty of these machines is really you are in full control. You're in the driver's seat here. It's a little bit different than the Super Automatics. And in general, my reviews on these machines are a little bit simple. And that's because I find some of the other ones to be a bit overwhelming. So for me, this is a perfect machine if you're someone who likes to tinker. If you're really, really into espresso and you really want to learn more about it, you want to get into latte art, perfect machine for you. Can't go wrong either way. It's all personal preference. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Fiamma underscore Canada for some cool and fun content. And check out our website for all your rocket espresso needs, www.fiamma.ca.